All right, so I got a box. It's not from Walmart, even though it's got Walmart stuff on it. Uh, this is from our friends at Appalachian Saw uh, and Repair. So I sent this off to them uh, about a month ago, and I'm getting it back. This is our Husky 262 that he went through for me. This saw is having terrible problems. Super underpowered. We were having issues with like, I don't know, just the dog. Every time I'd bury it into a log, it just wouldn't have power. So I had him check it out. But then also I know that he does, um, you know, pops up saws and stuff. So I was like, well, go ahead and do that for me. And you know, open it up, see what you like, see what you find, all that stuff. So here we are. So this has been, it's got an exhaust mod on it now, right on the side there. Pull the brake back. There you go. Um, exhaust mod. He went through and uh, ported it. It's got a sticker on the side. So 262 XP. I got this off of an older gentleman uh, a couple of years ago. Well, a year and a half ago. I posted on Instagram. It, his name was Bob, I believe. I got it for a really good deal. Uh, I think it was a hundred bucks and it just never really ran right. I assumed that it had been run with uh, no oil in the gas, which, you know, sometimes happens with uh, with folks, especially with used saws. So I got it at a garage sale, was never happy with it. It ran, it didn't really smoke much, but yeah, it just didn't have any power. So we're gonna put a chain on this, a fresh chain, right from uh, the hardware, local hardware store put an 18 inch bar on it and we're gonna buck up some logs. So, stick around. So, uh, we're gonna mount a bar on this. I've got a 20 inch bar and chain. This saw came factory with an 18, but I've got a 20 for it because it's what I've got. So, I've got a new, brand new Oregon chain here from the hardware store. I just bought it, it's never been ran. I just took it out of the box before this and uh, we're gonna get this thing mounted up. Don't you hate it when this happens, right? I know there's a trick with this, but um, we're gonna get this mounted up. New bar, or not new bar, but lightly used bar, I guess. And uh, we're gonna go cut some, some dead ash. Some dead ash. So. Nothing like a sharp, fresh chain. All right, got the chain on. We're gonna throw this cover on. Get her nice and tight. Put some gas in it, put some bar oil in it, and we're gonna go find us a log to cut. All right, so I splashed some gas in here, got some bar oil in it. We've got some dead ash right here. I don't know, what is this? 14, 16 inch diameter? Uh, this has been sitting on the ground for, I don't know, three months now, I think it's been. So we're gonna pull this, start it up, and I'm gonna make a bunch of cuts with it and show you how fast it is. It's super cool. I haven't actually started this saw since uh, getting it back from him. So let's see how it goes. Get back, get back.
So look at these shavings. I know we got a fresh chain on there, but yeah, smooth cut. I'm happy with it. It's, uh, I'm not a big chainsaw guy, guys. I just cut firewood, mainly, 100%. Like, I worked tree service job before, but you know, they provide the sauce. This thing is sweet. I have been super disappointed with this since I bought it, but I didn't spend a lot. And uh, I had a local guy look at it. He didn't really know what was going on with it. So um, sent it out to Appalachian Saw Repair and I've been super happy with uh, their customer service and all of that. So if you're looking for like a hopped up saw or an option to have somebody hop something up for you, um, hit him up, TikTok, YouTube. He might be on Facebook, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, this is super sweet. Sounds great too, it's loud. So this is my first tuned saw. I've had, I have a 346 XP, which is like a 18 inch bar, you know, smaller saw. And then I have a, um, that steel 461 that I use for um, big, big stuff. And just so I don't have to bend over, stand up and buck kind of thing. But yeah, so thanks guys. Thanks for, thanks for fixing this up. Thanks for uh, um, making it run right. So I think this has just earned itself a spot in the stable of tools in the arsenal for firewood. So um, yeah, be good, stay sharp, and uh, see you next time.